Hi there guys, I have some more watches uh, for you that I'm going to do reviews on. Uh, really excited about these because they are just fresh out from Seiko. And um, thanks to the guys at uh, Starbuy for loaning these to us because, uh, like I say, they, they've literally just arrived in their office and um, they're kind enough just to, uh, to give these to me for a review. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste of what's coming up on the channel uh, over the next few days. And um, without further ado, let's crack on. So, uh, first things first, I've got three watches here that are all in the same design um, style, but uh, different in terms of their color colorways. So, first of all, we have the SRPE 65K1, which is a military style watch. Reminds me of the Alpinist a little bit here, but uh, like I say, that's uh, new from the Zago 5 range. Same style model, but we have the SRPE 69K1. This is a Darth or Stealth version. So exactly the same uh, case and uh, face, but just blacked out and PVD'd on a black NATO. That's uh, very, very nice. Now we have the dress version. And for some reason, this sort of reminds me of a mix between, uh, you know, the parentage of a Amiga Aquaterra and a Tudor. Um, you know what, put, put in the, the comments below whether you agree with me or not, but I don't know, I, I just see a mixture of Tudor and Amiga here. Uh, and it is, it's exactly the same uh, in terms of the, the case design, um, but it is a rose gold and steel two-tone watch. Uh, like I say, you know, even, you know, you look at the case there, there's, there's sort of elements of Rolex there in terms of the, you know, the side of the case. But uh, I think this one's going to be a really good seller. Um, anyway, that's those ones. Uh, moving on, but still on the Seiko side of things and Seiko 5. Uh, this one, you know what, this one's for the fairer sex, I'd say. Um, I, yeah, well, you know what, I'll just show you. Uh, it's that. Um, little bit Michael Causey. Uh, I don't know, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm undecided on this. In the flesh, the rose gold looks really, really nice. And in terms of, you know, I'm sure wearing it, it looks a hell of a lot more expensive than it actually is. Um, it's just that it's very gold, uh, very rose gold. Uh, but that's why I say I think it's probably more suited towards the fairer sex because it has got a, a feminine um, look to it. But in terms of um, its sizing, it is, you know, uh, the 40, 40 mil plus size. So this would probably suit um, uh, definitely a lady who likes to wear men's watches but wants something that's a little bit more feminine. Again, you know, looking at the, the watch finishing, this price point is just outstanding. Now, uh, this one is the one I'm most excited about, and it is the SRPE 80K1. Now, those of you that have been on my channel a few, you know, for, uh, for a little while, will have seen maybe that I did a video about bronze watches and just saying, absolutely shit, not for purpose. You know, why would you make a watch out of a material that just, you know, is, is, is just not compatible with seawater? Now, Seiko seem to have done something pretty smart here. I'm not sure, but I'm, well, I'm pretty sure this is steel, uh, but it has a bronze effect to it um, and has a beautiful, like I say, I'm going to get the photo, some really high res pictures up, so you'll see the, the dial. Uh, it's got a pattern sort of dial to it, and it's on this faux leather with a silicon backed strap. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm really excited about this watch. I think this thing is going to fly off the shelves. Um, it's got that sort of um, beautiful bronzed look that the um, Oris and some of the other Panerais and so on and so forth have got, but it has the common sense of being steel. So I don't think this is going to have that bloody horrible green patina uh, if you show it anywhere near seawater. Also comes with the clasp. Uh, same sort of bronze finish on it. Um, so we're going to take a good look at that. Um, that is it for the time being, guys. Uh, like I say, I will uh, endeavour to get these up for you one by one as quickly as possible. Uh, please put some comments down in the uh, 
the bit below if you want anything in particular that you want me to cover off. I know somebody uh, said they want to have a look at Loom, so I'll try and get that done. Um, but yeah, otherwise, guys, thank you so much for your time. Um, appreciate everything that you guys do in terms of supporting the channel. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe. Well, you watch us in the best of health, guys. See ya.